Hey everyone, M Live's Brennan Quinn here at Chrysler Center following Michigan's 56 54 win, nail biting win over visiting Northwestern. Big win for Michigan. It wasn't pretty, but at this point in the season and in the position that Michigan has put itself into in the Big Ten standings in terms of building a potential NCAA tournament resume, games like this are must wins. Uh, there's uh, because of some of the, the prior problems that Michigan has, has put itself in, there is a, there's no leeway left. So a game versus Northwestern on the home court needs to be won if this team has any aspirations of going, of taking this season probably further than people think that it might be able to go at this point in the year. Um, some positives from tonight are guys uh, delivering unexpected performances that I think uh, John Beeline walked away pretty happy and impressed with. Notably, Muhammad Ali, Abdur Rahman, 26 minutes as a starter in his first career start. Really nice performance, uh, was in control, felt comfortable out there, never seemed like the moment was big, uh, too big for him. Probably the, the biggest thing that can be said for him was not only did Muhammad start the game, but Muhammad finished the game. He played the final five minutes, he made game winning plays, chased down a key rebound in the corner, uh, uh, gathered a, uh, a deflected ball, made obviously what was the shot of the night, a, a three pointer with 57 seconds left that ultimately uh, what was the difference in this game. The other, what the word John Beeline likes to use is outliers. The other one would be Max Biefeld tonight. Um, in a night with Ricky Doyle on the bench with an illness and with Mark Denal just frankly not playing well, uh, Max Biefeld stepped up on against a, a, a much bigger, stronger, um, and what was at one point dominating Northwestern front line. Uh, Max delivered key minutes and Michigan probably would not have won this game if it weren't for him. So. That's it for tonight from uh, from Chrysler Center. Michigan returns to the court on Tuesday at Rutgers. Another game you can't afford to lose. Um, so until then, uh, I'm Brendan Quinn. Thanks for watching.